Okay, this is Renee's leg and her foot. Her skin is, of course, peeling like she got a bad sunburn. But it's all basically from her leg. She has what's called salitis that lays dormant in her skin. And if she gets a, a sore or a cut like uh, she has on her foot uh, and it don't heal right, then uh, she gets infection and uh, she gets um, sepsis, which is infection in the blood and uh, brings this celiitis back out of her leg again. I know it's nasty to look at. It was worse, uh, it was a lot worse than that uh, before she, uh, when she was in the hospital, she had some nasty blisters. I don't know. Sometimes I wonder. There's a lady out there in uh, Michigan. Melissa Mayer Hobolt. Yes, I'm calling you out. I'm calling you out on this video on YouTube because you are a moron. Plain, pure, and simple as that. No ends, ifs, or buts about it. You're quoting me a Bible verse and taking it totally out of context. You think that there is some kind of a job out there that I should be able to do wearing my TENS unit for eight hours a day Take a medication that makes me drowsy and uh, sleepy. Also, you think that there my birth defect. Basically, you don't think it's real, even though I've showed on YouTube it is real. X-rays don't lie. Doctors' excuses don't lie. You are a liar. Got it? You're a liar. No ends, it's a buts about it. I am sick. I am tired of people like you that quote Bible verses, but you don't have the uh, backbone to back up your lies because you know you're doing it out of spite because you think that you're right well, you know you're wrong. Otherwise, Max Lucado is wrong also. And a lot of other Bible scholars is wrong also. Because that Bible verse where it says if you don't work, you shouldn't eat only refers to people who refuse to work. Refuse. I don't refuse to work. Another thing too is I'm doing what God wants me to do. And that's to try to get the truth of the gospel and the truth out there to people like you that are hard-headed and hard-hearted and don't want to listen to the truth. Mark my words, lady. God is going to get you. Not me. I'm not God. So I'm not going to get you. So don't you uh, stretch it out as I'm threatening you. Because it's not a threat. What you did to threaten to call welfare on me, that's a threat. I am telling you right now to stop. S-O-T-P. Stop. Commenting on my comments I make on on my Facebook ministry McKim Beacon Light Ministry and Soul Clinic